What's up, team? We're back with another video. This time it's going to be some glazed carrots. I got this recipe from Thomas Keller's Masterclass and I absolutely fell in love with it, so I wanted to share with you guys how I do it. So you're just going to need some carrots. Try to get them all the same size to ensure that everything is cooked evenly. Salt for seasoning. Sugar to help bring out the natural sugar in the carrot. You're going to need water, a pan or a pot with a, where you can hold all of the carrots and the water. It's not going to be too much. You don't need it about this deep of a braising pan. A scrubby to clean your carrots or you can just wash them with your hands. This is a fresh brand new one, so don't worry. A knife. I'm using a paring knife as it's just easier. You can use a chef knife if you want to and then a tablespoon and a cutting board for the carrots. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by scrubbing the carrots with the green side of the scrubby. So to clean your carrots, the scrubby, you're just going to get it a little bit wet. And you can just turn off your water and you're just going to give it a light little rubbing all around. And it's just going to take off any excess dirt or any of the impurities because we want a nice clean flavor as we are using just carrots in this dish. So this, it's got a nice little glaze and a more of a sheen to it rather than your dirty carrot, right? So you can see quite the difference and the flavor at the end of the day is noticeable when you do give your carrot a little scrub with the scrubby. Just so you have a little bit of understanding, this is the water after scrubbing those carrots as lightly as I did, right? It's got that tinge to it, just not very appealing. Cut the carrot is very easy. You're going to start with the tip, cut off the top, and then what you're going to do is what we call bias cut. So you're going to slice it like this so it's going to look something like that. And then all you're going to do is you're going to rotate it, so just roll it towards yourself. And where that other previous cut end, you're going to cut there. And you're just going to go down the entire carrot doing that. And if it's a little bit thinner, you can kind of stretch it out so it has a little bit more surface area to it. But you want them as close to the same size as you possibly can. And then you can just put them straight into the pot and move on to your next carrot. So now you have all your carrots in your pan. I noticed I had space for another carrot, so I added one more. And the important thing is you don't want them on stacking on top of each other like this, right? Because it's just not going to cook right. You want everything nice against the bottom of your pan to ensure even proper cooking. So now, this is super easy. All you're gonna do is you're gonna take some water and fill it just until it covers your carrots. And it's gonna be two big pin two pinches of salt. And we're gonna do about one tablespoon We're gonna do a tablespoon and a half of sugar. We're just gonna give that a little bit of a mix. Get everything incorporated. And then we're gonna turn our heat to high. And I wanna bring that water to a boil as fast as I can. But once it hits a boil, we're gonna turn it down into a simmer because we don't want the agitation and just like the shaking of everything to damage our carrot. As you can see, our water has hit a boil, so we're just gonna turn that down to about a medium heat, depending on your stove top. And we're just gonna let it sit and ride out for about the next, say 15 minutes. So you just wanna keep close eye on it. And the really important part comes near the end, once your water is basically fully evaporated. So while it's all cooking down, you don't really need to stir it or anything, you just let it do its thing and once the water is where you want it to be then we're just going to coat it in that glaze as you can see most of our water has evaporated and this is the most important part we need to make sure that we don't walk away because if we bring it too far a process called caramelization will happen a glaze is the cooking technique that is right before the caramelization so we definitely want some of this liquid to still be in here, but there still is a little bit too much. If you were to take 
a little teaspoon of this liquid. It'd be nice and sweet and a little bit thick, kind of like a syrup. And that's just because of all the sugar from the carrots and as well with the sugar that we added. So once this water becomes even lower, which is about another minute or two, what we're gonna do is we're just simply gonna toss it in its own juices. And then that way we have our glazed carrots, fully cooked and ready to eat and be added to any dishes that you would like. We just give a quick little stir to make sure that we're not going too far. Yeah, so we're gonna turn off our heat now. See we have just the smallest amount of smallest amount of liquid in here with the carrots. And you're just gonna to toss them. Right, you can toss them, get a spatula. You're just coating them all in the juices. I'll get a fork and knife to show you that it is fully cooked all the way through. You can hear the heat. It's starting to caramelize more than it's going to be a glaze. So here's our carrot. Right. It's not complete mush. It still has a little bit of its firmness to it. That's what you're looking for. So if it's not holding up its shape, then you might have cooked it for a little bit too long and added a little bit too much water. And next time you can just put a little bit less water in. Mm. So good.